In just a few hours, this is what the Houston Arboretum will look like. Smoky and maybe a little concerning if you're driving by. Yeah, but you don't actually have to be concerned because the Houston Fire Department is igniting this fire. Christine Mansfield, Mansfield with the Houston Arboretum is here to explain why this is actually helpful to the park. Good morning. This is such an exciting thing that we're doing, and it's actually the fourth year that we'll have done this in the second time we've burned the savanna. And it's really great, not only for public safety, but also for environmental health. Uh, so uh, tell us why. So four years you guys have done this. They're prescribed fire. Same thing as a controlled burn? Yes, same okay. thing, interchangeable wording. Um, okay. And this is something that is done not necessarily inside the city a lot, but outside of the city a lot. And it is a tool that we can use with the fire department to not only reduce the fuel load, so that's grasses and other things that naturally occur, but that during drier seasons can actually pose potential threats um, for wildfires. So this is reducing a wildfire risk because we are taking charge of the situation and planning this burn with good weather conditions and safety precautions to make sure that it's not hazardous. It also returns nutrients to the soil and helps us reduce potential Potential invasive species like deep rooted sedge. Okay, okay, so that that makes more sense. Uh, because I was wondering, I was like, is it a particularly dry year? Like, why would you need to do this in a space that's, you know, quite smaller than when we're talking about big like forests and things like that? Exactly. And that's a great question. So one thing that people don't often think about is, you know, the Houston area was historically a lot of grasslands yeah. and prairie, and it would have had natural ways to reduce some of that fuel load. So it would have had natural wildfires that were either set by indigenous populations or by lightning strikes. And it would have also had grazers like bison. And we've brought back not only the fire, but also the grazers through goats. And mm -hmm. both of those things have helped us maintain this landscape and help it be an even better space for not only Houstonians, but also our wildlife um, friends. That's what I was going to ask about the goats, but I guess, you know, they, they can both help in this situation. So where in the Arboretum is this being done specifically? Great question. Actually, the space behind me is where this is happening. So it's in our Savannah area, and that's sort of in the north eastern corner of the site. So we will have some closures today. The woodway entrance as well as our nature playscape and the trails around the area will be closed for public safety, but those will reopen tomorrow. And um, folks can actually come and see the aftermath if they'd like tomorrow. And it honestly, it'll just look a little charred, but mostly <laughs> the same. Okay. Cool. And, and when exactly today is this happening? As in like, when should I not take my kids to the play space? <laughs> <laughs> Great question. So the playscape will actually be closed all day today. So we would recommend folks not coming out today at all. If you're trying to come to the playscape are the rest of our trails on our southern portion, as well as our nature center, will be open. But if you're coming to the playground, don't do it. Um, the burn itself is going to be happening around noon today and should last for a few hours. So if you do see smoke in the area during that time, either along the roadways or if you're at the Arboretum, please do not call 911. We do have fire personnel on site and they are all aware of the situation. Very good information. Yeah. Also for runners at Memorial Park, maybe they want to run someplace else today because it might be a little smoky. smoky out that's there. true, right? Yes, although what we will say is that we pick the weather for today because it allows the smoke to go up quickly and dissipate. So you huh. shouldn't see a ton once you get away from the Arboretum, even over towards the running area. You may smell a little bit, mm -hmm. but the photos that you guys showed earlier were great. It is not a huge giant smoke cloud and the fires, um, it's not a giant raging fire all yeah. at once. It kind of goes in small patches. So you're not going to see a giant plume um, really got it yeah but good for you to come on here and make this announcement because we love the arboretum houstonians would definitely be concerned for you guys if they saw smoke so we appreciate you christine mansfield with the houston arboretum for coming on this morning and talking to us thank you guys